and it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, I'm sure by now you have seen a new program that is called the Scrap Factory Doll Builder. This is an amazing program that I've been fortunate enough to work with for about a month now that allows you to build dolls and then generate an SVG file around them. You can use these SVG files in your favorite design programs, including Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio Software, Make the Cut. So it's an amazing program. I want to show you how you can purchase this program, use the program, and how you can make your designs that much more unique and personalized with this program. So the first thing is, is you need to be able to purchase the program. There is a ton of different ways you can purchase this program. The first one um, is on my website, which is www.creativeken.blogspot.com. And over on the right hand side, I have a link for the Scrap Factory Doll Builder and their current Brick People Expansion Pack. And you're able to buy them directly off my website. You're also able to go to the main Scrap Factory website, which is www.-12.com Scrap Factory. Or you're also able to go one of their affiliates, right now ppbndesigns.com, off to the left hand side, has a Scrap Factory SVG doll builder, and they also have their current Scrap Factory doll expansion packs. Now with the base program, you're going to get, of course, the Scrap Factory program, but you're going to get the basic set, which includes two body styles, and the difference in the body styles is one of the body styles comes with little toes. So that way, if you want to be able to have flip-flops, the toes will be exposed. You're going to get two boy hairstyles, or excuse me, eight boy hairstyles, eight girl hairstyles, eight boy outfits, and eight girl outfits. It's a pretty basic set. However, the different combinations you have within this set is huge. The great thing about this program is that's just the beginning. There is already three expansion packs that you can get for this program. One of the other expansion packs is the Brick People. You're also able to purchase this directly off my website. You can also come to their website at dash12.com slash scrap factory slash Brick People. And this is a great program and reminds me a lot of certain toy I used when I was a kid. It's awesome. You're going to get with this one the basic Lego body style. You're going to get 10 different tops and bottoms. But what I love about this set is you're getting 10 different heads with 10 different facial expressions. I love this expansion pack. They also have currently an expansion pack, which is done by SusanBlueRobot.com. If you click this link, it's going to send you to her site to purchase that for $5. This one's going to give you the ability to build your own robots, and I'll show you that one. And there's also an expansion pack that PPBN Designs has done, and it's a cute little Disney um, character kids, and you're able to get that on their website off the left-hand side. It says Scrap Factory Doll Expansion Packs. Now, once you've purchased any of these sets, you're going to get a key. And the key is really important because, for example, if I was to purchase this Disney Kids Scrap Factory Expansion Pack, I download this key. And the key is important, and I'll show you that when we launch our program. But the, the Robot Expansion Pack, the Brick People Expansion Pack, and even your basic expansion pack, you're going to get a key. Now, in this case, as you can see, I've blocked the key because, obviously, we don't want to share those keys. But that's what unlocks these expansion packs. So you want to make sure you keep those keys uh, handy just in case you need them. Now once you download the Scrap Factory, you're going to get an icon on your desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that up so I can show you. It's going to come to your default, um, basically, welcome screen. And you can see this cute little boy and girl with an arrow basically saying, here's the current expansion packs you have. So as you can see, I have the, the PPBN Disney set, the robot set, the base set, and the Brick People set. Now, I could come down here, and this is what I was saying, where you would click Add Expansion Pack. You would put your key here, whatever it is, hit Add Expansion Pack, and it's going to validate that key. Obviously, that's an invalid exp expansion key, but that's where, you, where you'd put your key. And then once you've added your key, 
it's going to go ahead and add them to your current expansion packs. So as I said, this program is designed to keep adding expansion packs through the different designers. So if we go back to my main screen, I can come up to the expansion pack. So I'll go to the base set and it's going to generate that program for me. So as you can see, here is um, the different hair body styles you get. So with the open toes, it goes over all of your hairstyles and it goes over the outfits. So you have boys and girls and all the different hairstyles. So this is the base set. There is also the brick people set. So if we go to that expansion pack, as you can see, you're going to see your basic brick um, person. You're going to see all those different hat hair styles, face options, which this I just, these crack me up, you guys. I love them. I love everything about these faces. Your outfit tops and your outfit bottoms. Now, I also have, like I said, the PPBN Disney set. So this one's pretty basic because there's only two styles. So you have your body style, you have your boy hairstyle, your girl ha hairstyle, and you have the two different outfits. And then there is, like I said, also this robot, um, Susan Blue Robot. So here you have your body, robot body options. You have your head options, your face options, outfit top, outfit bottom. So as you can see, there's amazing possibilities of building your own robot, your own dolls. It's amazing. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the base set since that's the one that most people are going to get with their first initial set. This program could not be any easier, you guys. All you have to do is follow these up at the top from left to right, and it builds your doll. So let's go ahead and... Um, I want no open toes, I just want shoes. So I'm gonna select that first. I'm gonna to go to my hairstyle, so do I want a boy or a girl? So I can go down and look at all these different hairstyles and pick the one I like. So I have messy hair, so I'm gonna go with the Patrick style. And then I just select my outfit. So I come down here and I basically find the outfit I like, which I love this little, I work as a, a bank manager, so this is perfect. Once I've picked all my different categories, I just hit Generate SVG. It's going to pop up and say, where do you want to save this? I want to save it to my desktop, and I want to save this as a boy doll. And I'm just going to hit Save. Over here, it saved my SVG file. So as you can see, here's my SVG file. Now, if I wanted to go back and create different ones, I could. I could come to the robot one, and let's see. I want to go ahead and use this body. I like that head. I'm going to use those arms and those legs. Once again, generate SVG and just hit robot. Save. Easy as that, it saves it to my desktop. Now, once you've saved it, you can go ahead and minimize this program and bring up whatever program you're using, whether it be Design Space, Silhouette Studio software, Make the Cut. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my two programs that I use. So with Design Space, you're going to be able to go into um, your Cricut software and log in. You're going to upload your image over here to the left. It's going to bring up what kind of image are you uploading. So we're going to go ahead and say this is a vector file. And then all I have to do is browse. So I know I saved that to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and import that ball, boy doll first, and it shows my picture. I'm going to hit choose. It's going to bring up over here a, a uh, um, picture of what it is. I can put boy doll, and then I can put my tag. So I could say, you know, um, scrap factory. So that way it categorizes it for me. I can say boy doll, uh, dress suit, and then I'm going to save image. Now, it's obviously going to save it um, and go back to this vector file, and you're going to see your image down here. So there's my image. But it's also now going to be in my images library. So if I get out of here and I go into insert images, 
I would be able to find it that way. And since one of my keywords was scrap factory, it's going to bring up all my scrap factory files. So there's my guy. So once I have selected him and inserted him, as you can see, here is the file. Now on here you have your base doll set. You have all of the pieces of the doll. So you have his head, his arms, his hands, his legs. You have his whole outfit broken down over here. And then you also have his hair. Now they've also shown you how all the pieces go together on the outfit. So on Design Space, I can do this a couple of different ways. Um, first, I want to size it. So right now, if I was to go over to Edit, it's going to tell me the size of this whole area. Well, if I want my doll a certain size, I obviously want to um, ungroup this at first. And my doll is right now 2.4 inches. So if I wanted to make him bigger, obviously I'm going to click and drag down here to make it bigger. The key to this is you want to keep everything in size with each other. So I don't want to obviously size the body without sizing all of his clothes and pieces. So right now, if I was to ungroup this, my doll is 3.72. So if I want to make sure he is 5, I would just keep going until I get to the size that I like. And 4.88 is good. Now, obviously, I want to get rid of, I can either get rid of all these separate pieces or I can get rid of this outfit because we don't want to cut it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and get rid of that. And guess what? That's it. I can hit go. I'm ready to hit go and Design Space does everything else for me. It's going to separate my pieces. It's going to go ahead and lay it on the mat. It's basically going to, based on the colors that I've assigned to it, break it all down for me. So I'm ready to go ahead and um, put my paper on my mat and hit cut and we're ready to go. Same thing on the robot I designed. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. So I'm going to go to Upload Image again, Vector Upload. We save that robot here. Put in my keywords, hit Save Image. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload that image. So on the robot, you know, if I like the size, everything's ready to go. I can, if I want to, you know, I definitely can play around with it. I can move stuff around and see how it's going to look, um, you know, and play around with it. Or I can go straight to my sizing and cut. Um, it's an amazing design space does the work for you. So that's how you would import it and use these files in design space. Now the Silhouette Studio software, I have that open. I have done the new version updates. So as you can see here, if you haven't done the update, this is why it looks a little different. But all I'm gonna do, very easy, is I'm gonna go up to File. I'm going to Import to my library. It's going to bring up the, what are you trying to import? And I'm gonna say I want a boy doll. Once again, I can put keywords. So if I want to quickly look for something I could. and then it's going to import that into my software. So now I'm able to go and there's my, my doll and double click on that and there he is. So once again, it comes all grouped ready to go. So I could ungroup this and see how big my guy is here and he's about six inches, which is pretty big. So if I wanted to you know, shrink this down once again, I can shrink this down as much as I need to. And um, once I find the size, once again, I can get rid of the pieces I don't need, if I already know, or move this off to the side. So if I want to use this to know how he looks put together, I can then, you know, move this off to the side. And then I'm ready to go. I can start cutting this and moving it around. I also can use the new feature that they have in... Uh, the new silhouette upgrade, which is layers. 
So I'm able to go in here and say, hey, this is my first layer, my second layer. So when it's ready to cut, it will actually cut in layers, which is a cool new feature. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely would recommend doing that. And that's how easy it is to, to import it into Design Space. Um, for my current project, um, I actually made the uh, uh, PPBN files super, super cute. As you can see here, um, here's her little Disney characters. So I'm going to have those up on my blog. Make sure to check out that post to see how these turned out. Um, I can't stress enough, you guys. This is an amazing program. It's just getting started. So the expansion packs are endless. Um, it's very user-friendly. Um, I almost like to think of it as kind of like an Apple um, iTunes experience. It's it's literally you're just clicking the different what you want and essentially mixing and matching what you want and following up here and hitting generate SVG. It's really an easy program. They've done a great job making this simple for anyone to do. I mean, I absolutely love all the different possibilities. You can make it look so ridiculous, or if you're someone that really wants, you know, everything to look exactly the same. So obviously a pirate pants should go with the pirate top, but if you want to mix it up, you can. It's an amazing program. So I definitely recommend checking it out, guys. Um, if you haven't uh, done it yet, make sure to go to my website, www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Purchase the program. Make sure you guys play with it and keep checking back for different expansion packs. So the other website, www.-12.com slash scrap factory is going to show you the different um, uh, expansion packs down here. And I know for a fact that PPBN Designs is going to be coming out with some more expansion packs. So this is just the first expansion packs that they've released. So make sure you're following all those websites to see the different expansion packs. Download the software. Go have fun with it. Just get as creative and ridiculous or as organized or do whatever you want with it. It's a fun, fun, easy program. And Scrap Factory has done a great job taking all of the work out for you. All right, guys, I hope this gave you some ideas um, how the Scrap Factory works and how easy it is to build your own doll and just have fun, creative ideas. Make sure you guys are following my blog at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you check out all my other YouTube videos by liking my page, subscribing, and commenting. And also, make sure you check out the Scrap Factory website at www.-12.com slash scrap factory. And make sure you also check out all the different expansion packs that you can currently get. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and go create something magical. Thanks. Thanks.